Welcome to the Nine News Trump Rally. Good morning, everyone. Only two weeks left of the regular season, including this one, so it's make or break for a lot of teams. It's moving week, to borrow a golf term. And Pomona is moving on up, undefeated number four Panthers, hosting Mullen at the knack. And the Panthers put up some points in this thing. Opening kickoff, Jack Pospisil takes the return 100 yards all the way to the house. Only one defender got his hands on him, and he was just gone. That set the tone for the rest of the night. Pospisil wasn't done yet a couple of possessions later. Still first quarter, Panthers up 7-0. It's Pospisil again, keeping it himself, cashing in. Panthers go on to win 42-21, now 5-0 on the season, 4-0 in league play. Let's head up north for a 3-8 battle between Mountain View and Meade. Mavericks get on the board first in their opening drive. Senior running back Braden Keys takes the handoff, bounces outside, gets some great downfield blocks, turns on the Jets for 63 yards into the end zone. Mountain View trying to get onto the board late in the first. Quarterback Ben Trubia scrambles, avoids a sack, extends the play, finds Alex Herr in the end zone from 10 yards out, cuts the Mead lead in half. Mavericks would find the end zone several more times, though. Head coach Jason Klatt digging into his bag of tricks. Senior running back Nathan Bailey takes the handoff, pulls up, finds junior Corby Tecu, and all alone he is. Tecu takes it the rest of the way, 57 yards. Meade would go on to win 42-14 and moves to 4-1 and one on the season. Our 9 News Facebook game of the night Thursday brought us to a special military edition, Smoky Hill Overland. Buffalo's quarterback, Leslie Richardson III, throws this one deep to Anthony Harris, 45 yards for the touchdown. Then it's Alec Pinkowski mossing the defender on the next play. Over to Overland, Kaya Layla to Ismail Cece. Cece with the juke, makes the miss, gets the Trailblazers six more. But it's tough to keep Richardson in check, especially with a cannon like this. Another long ball, this one to Davian Norman. Buffaloes win at 49-39. We're in the penultimate week of the regular season, which means we're starting to see some really good teams face off for those league titles. Wait until you see this one. It's a 4A top 10 showdown as number six Broomfield travels to face number nine Windsor. Both teams still undefeated, both vying for that spot in the playoffs. The Eagles find themselves deep in Windsor territory, less than a yard to go. Quarterback Cole LaCrue with the snap, runs right, fights the Wizards tackle, he's through. Field goal gives the Eagles a seven nothing lead. Second quarter, Windsor down 14-7. Quarterback Jay Coakley switches out the running game for a long throw downfield. Interception, though, defensive back Matthew Balkenstad gets control, brings it right back to the 29. It's down to the wire in this one. Wizards trail by seven. They have less than a minute to go. They make it count. Wingback Dax Polka takes the handoff, runs straight down the middle and into the end zone. Windsor ties the game, forces OT. Unfortunately, though, Windsor's, Wizards couldn't cash in, allowing the Eagles to win on a Matthew Ike field goal. The game ends 17-14. Broomfield remains undefeated. Our 90s Facebook game of the night Friday took us to Cherry Creek as the defending champs hosted Arapahoe. Opening Cherry kickoff Creek goes to the two-yard line. The Kai O'Day gets a massive leap block from Miles Purchase, takes it 98 yards to the house. But the special teams weren't done there. Arapaho back to punt, Purchase back to receive, fields it on a bounce, escapes a leg tackle, heads right to the sidelines, 50-yard punt return touchdown for the future Cyclone. Now, what if I told you the special team scored in a third different way? Sam Pezdert with the block on the punt, Remington Larson with the scoop and score, this one, all Bruins 56-7. Now, we've got the nuts and bolts to a pretty fun story here. Scotty Gange shares how a Colorado State commit uh, has skills as a mechanic in the garage, but they also rival his skills as a mechanic on the gridiron. Justin Michael is a truck. The six foot five, 265 pound Pooter High captain is not your average assembly line football player. One, two, three, be ready! Justin and his dad, Dwight, changed gears off the field Put that size in there. as they restore old vehicles from their home garage in Fort Collins. This is a frame off the original truck. 
Their main project now is this 86 Chevy, which will be his for CSU. That you're gonna work on this car for three years so you can drive it two miles down the road to college. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, he'll save on fuel anyway. <laughs> and whether it's saving on gas for his college truck. What are you changing? Oil. Or tuning up his kid-sized John Deere, Justin was raised below wheels. This is what I grew up with, and it's always awesome helping him. It's a good bonding. I thought, I think just to think back over the fact that in the shop, Justin threw, we threw the football back and forth. There are tears, but... It's a lot of happy tears. One of the best parts working with my dad. Justin, the best thing ever built in the Michael Garage. Scotty Gange, Nine News. Such a unique story, love it. Hey, we wanna see your best highlights. We know you're shooting video of your favorite athletes. Send it over to us. The best stuff may end up in the honor roll. Hit us up at sports at 9news.com or find us on social media.